first week of June. Dolphin and I are heading out on a little canoe trip, so we're kind of packed up here. We're launching on this beautiful beach, uh, which is covered in turtle tracks. So there's a snapping turtle track, um, which I'll show in a minute. It's very wide, big, big feet and a tail drag. And then a couple of tracks that I think are painted turtle tracks where there's just the feet mark they tend to hold their bodies a little bit higher off the ground and their tail is not leaving a drag mark um, and some raccoon tracks so the uh, raccoon tracks are following the turtle tracks and there are lots of empty um, eggshells around here so here for example is a bunch of empty shells and some big raccoon turds and the hole where the eggs got dug up. Over here is the snapping turtle track so you can see the tail drag and big footprints on either side. Over here beside it then of course we've got the raccoon tracks. You can see they're long fingers and it's not quite visible but a, a trail of saliva as it follows the scent of fresh turtle eggs. Over here snapping turtle tracks or sorry uh, painted turtle so here we've got the feet on either side moving along but there's no tail drag in the middle and they've gone up up and over to lay their eggs up higher on the beach. So there's also, we saw there are four turtle eggs down in the water that seem to be unmolested. I guess the turtle was probably running away from a raccoon while it was still popping out eggs maybe, I don't know. So we're just going to try and scoop up a few of them and have a look. And then we'll maybe also go and uh, put them under some sand. So those I'm guessing would be painted turtle. They're too small for a snapping turtle. I think. I can't reach those No, we'll get them from the canoe in a minute. Oh, there's the turtle. See him? Oh. See the swirl? He's coming this way. We'll see if we can get a little shot of this one turtle. Well, he poked his head up and had a little look around and I saw him going under but I don't see I don't see it now So we're all set up at our campsite. We've been out fishing for the day and doing a little bit of exploring. There was a piece of, on the side of the lake that got burnt in a forest fire a few years back. We thought we might find some morels, but there were none to be found. So here we are at our campsite. You can see behind me, we're trying a new tent setup. So a couple of tarps, that's nothing new, um, but I just picked up one of these uh, little fly meshes. So it's about five six by seven foot six maybe so it's supposed to be the same size as a double bed and uh, just hoping that that keeps the bugs off us tonight but lets us still kind of have that open air camping experience and over here this fire pit has been here for decades I think it gets bigger every time I come out here's our fish that we caught today we're getting some water on the boil because we have almost run out of water and we packed a few 
dried leeks to mix in, as well as some dried morels. Got a, kind of some of our equipment lying around, and a little stock of firewood for our stay here. So our plan is to go catch some more fish after supper, and then uh, probably call it a day. Just hang by the campfire until the bugs are too bad. So, we got up at 5.30 this morning because there was a little pitter-patter of rain. And we had a couple of things sitting out that we wanted to grab and we also wanted to get a fire going before it got too rainy and it actually hasn't turned out to be so bad. But we do have a nice little cook fire going. Got some butter warming up because Delphine caught her first pike yesterday. She's still a little bit excited about it. Very excited. And we're going to have that for breakfast. We just had some coffee. Um, we slept in the in the little tent, the bug tent last night. So it kept us dry. We found it a little bit short, even though it's long on the bottom, just the way that the angles come up. Um, it felt like your head was going to kind of touch no matter what, and then you were going to get bit, although it wasn't too, too bad. Um, I'm going to check out, they've got a different model that is more of a stand-up square and then I guess you need two ropes um, but I thought I might be able to tie it off to the grommets and have it fit under a tarp pretty well so that'll be something maybe to try on another trip out so we'll finish our breakfast and then uh, if it's not raining too hard head out and uh, try and catch some more fish before we head home Well, you probably can only hear the rain on the tarp, but we took down some of our stuff in the other camp and we took our ground sheet and set it up as a little roof beside our fire. So we did eventually get our fire going and now it's pretty enormous. We're just trying to warm up and dry off and uh, hopefully the lane lets off, lets off soon so we can canoe back home in relative dryness. 